So this here is Haludovo Palace Hotel, which can be found on the island of Krk uh, in Croatia. And uh, today I'm going to look for a specimen for microscopy right here um, in this hotel. Hi, hello and welcome. Microbe Hunter here, Oliver is my name. And in this YouTube channel, I like uh, to put things under the microscope and share the microscopic specimens and microorganisms with you, those that I find. Yes, let's uh, first talk a little bit about this hotel and why I am in Croatia in the first uh, place. This uh, hotel is one of the famous uh, lost places in Europe. It's actually quite a well-known uh, abandoned hotel and it's uh, freely accessible um, to the public. It's a little bit unsafe uh, occasionally and um, I visited uh, this place because a few days ago I visited uh, Croatia um, with a couple of students to do some marine biology, to do a marine biology workshop. Um, so we also went into the water. It was fairly cold. And I, for example, here collected some uh, plankton using a plankton net. And then, of course, we also put it under the microscope. But that was not the only activity that we did. We collected a few uh, plastic wastes uh, from, uh, from the local beaches, which was swept. Uh, we collected uh, and observed a couple of animals. Don't worry, they were all returned back <laughs> to the nature after we observed them. There were plenty of scorpions there. Of course, we also enjoyed nature generally. I did a little boat ride there as well. And uh, among other things, we visited uh, this uh, old abandoned hotel. It was uh, constructed back in the 1970s. Yeah, it looked uh, quite uh, beautiful um, at that time. And uh, the intention was to bring uh, wealthy guests into former Yugoslavia, communist Yugoslavia. At that time, Croatia was not yet an independent state. And as a sort source of financial revenue. And uh, for this reason, they built this uh, very luxurious uh, hotel, which now looks uh, quite a bit different. Um, there was a casino, for example, this here is the casino area um, um, of the hotel. It was a very, I think, nicely designed uh, place. Um, and uh, right now, it has not been um, yeah, inhabited for almost a quarter of a century. So um, the last guests, they are left uh, around uh, 2001, so almost a quarter of a century. Yeah, an old television said I even found a calendar with the date 1998 you know in the in the hallway there and as I walked around the hotel yeah when I realized that it's actually a little bit of a dangerous place as well because the ceiling has collapsed on multiple uh, locations so what you see all of the rubble here is actually from the ceiling so I have to be very careful where um, you put your step but I have to admit that the place had um, a little bit of um, an interesting magic and an interesting atmosphere to it Yes, it was a little bit uh, like um, a cemetery, uh, I have to admit. It's, uh, you could hear the birds singing um, and everything was very peaceful and quiet. And uh, yes, it was quite evident that uh, the hotel was now left on its own and nature was slowly reclaiming uh, this, uh, this uh, building. There was lots of graffiti um, visible everywhere. So this graffiti not add, only added color, but it also made the hotel appear to be a little bit more alive uh, than one might uh, initially imagine. And one could, of course, also see that uh, trees and plants also started to grow now, in not only around the hotel, but also in some places inside the hotel. This here was uh, the bowling alley. So you could even see the bowling lanes over here. A very luxurious place. And now nature slowly starts to reclaim that, what we humans um, have taken uh, from it. Now, of course, I was uh, moving around, walking around, looking for an interesting uh, microscopic specimens, lots of um, yeah, concrete and nothing really of interest. However, then all of a sudden I found I think one of the most interesting places here and that was the pool, the swimming pool area. Look at this. You know, at the hotel had an indoor pool and also an outdoor pool um, and according to popular legend apparently when they opened the hotel they even filled one of the pools with champagne. Yeah, it's what Was that a wasteful at that time? Uh, I would even say decadent maybe. Um, however, um, when I was uh, looking around uh, the pool area, I have to tell you, it still has retained some of its original beauty. On the, out, uh, on the outside, I could see that uh, the pool was so leaky that it did not even retain rainwater. 
Um, however, I decided to go into the pool, uh, and indeed, at the end of the pool, I did discover a, not only a patch of grass, but also some moss uh, growing right on the bottom of the uh, swimming pool. And this is where I decided to take my sample for microscopy. Yeah, amongst the rubble and uh, yeah, all of the trash uh, here, is, is there was a patch of moss. Uh, and of course, uh, this is always a very welcome site because moss generally is very rich and interesting micro animals uh, and also other microorganisms. The moss was fairly dry, um, so I simply put it into uh, one of my plastic tubes uh, to take home. Yeah, yes, here you can see that the original beauty uh, was still a little bit retained, but now trees are starting to grow everywhere. Now let's start the microscopy part before we return back again to the hotel. Um, back at home, I added a little bit of water, and after approximately one day, the moss has regenerated, and also the microorganisms have regenerated to the extent that I was now able to put a small drop um, of uh, the water on a microscope slide, and yes, <laughs> Rotifers, rotifers, uh, lots of rotifers, a rotifer paradise. Evidently, they have survived the dryness and now started to come back to life. And now, yeah, they're starting to reproduce and uh, feeding. Um, so this is actually uh, yeah, quite uh, quite nice. Um, I also found the nematode worms here. Um, you can see also in the background occasionally some other ciliates moving around. This is the shell, a so-called test of an amoeba. Uh, a test is the shell or the container of an amoeba. There were also plenty of other microorganisms uh, floating around, swimming around. You know, so adding a little bit of water regenerates and revives uh, the whole moss sample um, again. However, uh, there was also some water collected on the roof uh, of the hotel. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to reach it uh, quite easily. So I decided not to take a sample along. But on the side of the swimming pool, I could see some flowers growing. And this is actually one of the most interesting contrasts that I was able to see. On one hand, you can see nature recapturing uh, the hotel, beautiful flowers. And then on the other side, uh, just a few meters away, destruction and uh, decay. And uh, maybe in a couple of hundred years, uh, future generations of archaeologists might actually rediscover this uh, old hotel in the midst uh, of a newly grown jungle. Uh, yeah, even figs are growing here. And inside the hotel, there is also grass now growing between the tiles um, of uh, the floor. Yeah, slowly but surely nature is recapturing um, the things that we humans have built. And uh, this actually uh, shows a little bit that we humans are only temporary stewards uh, of planet Earth. And sooner or later, nature and Earth will reclaim that, what we have taken. On the outside of the building, yeah, there are a couple of uh, other uh, places where people have... Uh, they built a, a resort area. So these uh, were uh, pro probably former apartments uh, that were outside of the hotel, um, also <laughs> covered with graffiti and remind me a little bit of, um, yeah, of uh, old uh, temples that can be found in a jungle yeah, in the rainforest. <laughs> yeah, and I discovered also an old magazine there. And immediately, of course, I wanted to look at the date. Well, 2004, 20 years old. It has survived 20 years uh, outside. Um, and uh, this also is a little bit uh, yeah, a witness of how time is actually passing. And uh, this is the main entrance here um, of the hotel. And this actually means that uh, sooner or later, this hotel probably will have disappeared in the midst uh, of a forest. And maybe in, in the future, maybe after, I don't know, uh, many, many years, uh, maybe even after we humans uh, have ceased to exist, there will be, of course, the microorganisms still around. Um, and uh, these microorganisms, I think uh, they will um, out, uh, outlive us all. Uh, and uh, these are, again, some of the specimens that are found in the moss sample. You know, two rotifers trying to find a little bit of food here, uh, yeah, here in time lapse. Again, many, many ciliates uh, floating around uh, and reproducing, feeding um, and, and living. And these here are some hair of plants, so-called trichomes, which I have also found in the moss. Beautiful samples in a small patch of moss um, on an abandoned uh, hotel. And I think with that, I would like uh, 
to wish you all the best. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you like these type of videos. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.